Hey guys, welcome back to the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. Well, we have started the first day apparently and well, we are supposed to do something which is explore Bule. Uh, I should take a look around the area and see what I can find out about Mr. Shoulder and Hobbs Barrow. Well, we are going to do that of course. Still can't open these drawers, right? Jammed shut. The wood must have warped over the years. Mm-hmm. So we don't have anything to open that yet. We do have a glove, a matchbox. Yeah, okay. So let's head out first. Good morning, Miss Beatman. Good day, Stanley. Hmm, okay. So I suppose we are supposed to talk to him. Did you sleep well, Miss Beatman? Hmm, liar should be polite. Tell the truth. We're gonna tell the truth. Not really. I have the rather queer recollection of a cat entering my room last night. A cat, you say? Yes, an odd-looking grey one. I must have been dreaming as I locked the door and windows before I went to sleep. I saw a similar cat in the lavatories while searching for Mr. Tillett. Ah, Herbert. Oh, he's a harmless thing. He comes in now and then searching for scraps. Indeed. Seeing him in the lavatories must have conjured up the strange dream. The mind is capable of manifesting frightful things, Miss Beerman. I'm happy to report the rain of yesterday has lifted. It's a clear morning outside. Crisp. I've prepared a room for your assistant. What time will he be arriving today? His train will get in around midday. Kenneth will also be bringing my excavation equipment. Oh, I. What does that entail? Picks, shovels, buckets, lighting and such. He usually packs it in a large crate. Come to think of it, I'll need somewhere to store it. You're welcome to use the alley behind the inn for any such bulky items. Hmm, is it is safe to do such a thing? My equipment is valuable as it sounds capital. Thank you, I don't see what the alternative is. Uh, I'm gonna go with the first option. Is it safe to do such a thing? I can assure you the local folk are not thieves, Miss Bateman. That's not what I... Now, now, say nothing more of it. Thank you, Stanley. I'll let you get on with your day. I'll be back with my assistant when he arrives. Hmm. So we Ms. also... Bateman? Yes? I've something I wish to get off my chest, as it were. I've been tossing and turning all night, Miss Bateman. I feel rotten, I really do. What on earth are you talking about? As you know, I like to run an honest establishment. And well, I have not been honest with you, lass. I do know of Hobbs Barrow. You do? I do. Many here do. There are stories tied to that place, you know. If I've learned anything in this life, it's that some stones are best left unturned. Old Leonard's shoulder is someone to be wary of too. I can't tell you what to do, lass, but you'd best avoid him. Hmm. Why lie to me about Hobbs Barrow? I know, lass, I know. I feel dreadful. But why? What are these stories you speak of? I really can't tell you more. If you insist on visiting that place, you'll have to seek out Mr. Shoulder. He brought you here. He should be the one to tell you. I must say, Mr. Kemp, this is all quite puzzling. I've never let local superstitions stop me in the past. I pride myself on being a woman of logic and reason. I have no time to waste on such matters. As I say, seek out Mr. Shoulder. He can tell you more. Hmm. Why must I be wary of Mr. Shoulder? The man has a certain reputation. For what? You've seen it already. Were he here to meet you last night? No. Precisely. A man not to be trusted. Where is Hobbs Barrow? I don't know. I say that on my mother's grave, Miss Bateman. Hmm. I now find that hard to believe. The moors are vast, lass. I tend not to go wandering out there. A grown man could lose himself and not be seen again. Hmm. Hmm. Where does Mr. Shoulder live? I can't say for sure. As I think I told you last night, he's a quiet man and keeps to himself. He only comes in here to collect his post. 
leads me to believe he lives a fair distance away. Certainly not in the village itself. Might someone around Bewley be able to help me find him? You could ask around. As I say, lass, Bewley folk mean well. Don't forget that. I shall return later. Good day to you, lass. Okay, I was planning on taking a tour through town anyway. I'm ever so sorry, Miss Bateman. I have a few jobs that need doing this morning. If you need anything, come back in an hour or two. I see. Hmm, alright, so... Wait a second, before we leave here... Can we also just... I must say, last night has rather put me off using these toilets. Hmm, okay, so she won't enter there. So, let's leave here. Can we? Yes, we can. Just wouldn't show. Oh, it that seems I may be fighting a battle against some sort of local superstition. Is there a single bar in England that doesn't have some ghastly tale attached to it? Hogwash, all of it. I have a few hours until Kenneth arrives. I should use this time to find Mr. Shoulder. Oh, map unlocked. Uh, where we can have a look here. That's the railway station, square, and, hmm, okay. But before we do that, there is this person over here. Hello. My name is Thomasina, and you are? Now then, that's none of your concern, love. What do you do around here? Hey, oh, you're not scared of sticking your neb in. I look after the churchyard, dig the graves. What can you tell me about the church? Aye, it's a church. Quite. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? I don't know out about no Leonard Shoulder. What can you tell me about Hobbs Barrow? Not to be found digging around in those things. You know of local barrows then? Don't concern yourself. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about Bewley? Not much around here, love. Not worth mentioning to you, like. I see. Goodbye. Dara. Interesting. So can we... Can go into the alley. But there is nothing of interest here right now, so... Let's exit. Don't want to go to the right right now. Want to have a look around here. Oh, there, is, there are some children playing. So Hello. let's talk to them. Yes. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Douglas. It's a pleasure to meet you, Douglas. That's a great sword technique you have. Thanks, miss. Mr. Crozier's gonna make me a real one when I turn 12. I'm preparing myself to fight the lantern worm. What is the lantern worm? It's gonna come back and get us all. John Lampton thought he killed it at the River Ware, but my father told me it still lives. We must all be prepared. The Lampton Worm isn't real, Douglas. Father just told you that to get you out of his air. Not true. I saw it slithering out by the beck, like a giant eel it were. I ran home so fast I thought I would fly. Sorry, miss. My brother has a vivid imagination. Children often do at his age. I'll keep training. You will all thank me when I thrust my sword deep into its fat belly. Douglas, this lady doesn't want to hear your nonsense. Hmm. Do you like living in Bewley? Yeah, I do. Are you from the city? I'm from a long way away. You must have come on the train. I love watching all the steam puff oh. up into the sky. Have you been on the train yourself? No, miss. Our parents don't have the money for train tickets. Father says we have all we need here in Beulah. <sighs> Perhaps this nice lady would like to take you away with her on the train. No, I need to stay and protect Beulah from the lantern worm. Mm -hmm. Do you know a man called Leonard Shoulder? That's a funny name. Have you heard of Hobbs <sighs> Barrow? What's that? A local burial mound. Our parents don't let us wander far from the village. What's a burial mound? Don't you mind about that, Douglas. Who's Mr. Crozier? He's a blacksmith. His forge is just over there on the other side of the square. 
Don't you think 12 years of age is a little young for a real sword? I'll be a master swordsman by then. <sighs> Goodbye. Goodbye, miss. Hmm, also want to talk... Hello, yeah. miss. Want to talk to her? My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Betty. Nice to meet you, Betty. What are you up to? My brother is practicing his sword fighting technique. I'm to watch him until he tires himself out. I'm tireless! This time last month it were all about his teaspoon collection. This month it's swords. Mm -hmm. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? No. Are you sure? Yes. What do you know of Hobbs Barrow? Our parents don't like us talking to strangers, miss. So you know of it? No. Are you sure? Yes. Goodbye. Bye, miss. Hmm, I don't know. That seemed a little strange. I think she does know. I don't think anyone is home. Hmm. We could go over there, but we are going to explore this square first. No one there. Hmm. No one here. And here? I don't think anyone is home. Nobody's home in this town. That's really this strange. This belong to someone. The and bucket the is rusty. Full of holes. So there's the blacksmith. I have one just like this. I have one just like... Hmm. I didn't come to Bewley to... A simple... Alas, it is not mine to take. A fantastic specimen. Hmm. Fossil, huh? The blacksmith is toiling away. Good day. Yes? Mr. Crozier, I presume. Aye, George Crozier, at your service. My name is Thomasina. Aye, can I help you? Are you a Bewley native, Mr. Crozier? Aye, born and bred. This were my father's forge before mine. How is business faring? I do an honest trade. There'll always be horses needing shoes and farmers needing tools. You let me know if you need out made or mended. I'll do you a fair price. Thank you, Mr. Crozier. Mm -hmm. Do you know a man by the name of Leonard Shoulder? Oh, hi, Old Leonard. Have you seen him recently? No, not recently. Do you know where he lives? Why all these questions, lass? I need to speak with him. He invited me to Bewley. Oh, he'll turn up. I've seen him in the plough and furrow from time to time. But do you know where he lives? I need to find him. I believe he lives somewhere out on the moors. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you out more than that. Thank you, Mr. Crozier. Do you know of a local landmark named Hobbs Barrow? There's a fair many barrows found out on the moors, lass. Too many to put a name to. Not a soul in Bewley pays them any mind. What can you tell me about Bewley? We don't get many visitors here, outside of market days. But there's plenty of work for the village blacksmith. Where are you from, then? I arrived yesterday on the train from London, by way of Derby. Oh, aye. I've heard about London. What have you heard? Plenty of factories there. Yes, indeed. The city is always changing and moving forward. Too busy for me, though, lass. I prefer a quieter pace. Aye. I noticed your spectacular fossil specimen. Oh, aye. I collect them. This one is called an... Ammonite. I'm impressed, lass. From the Jurassic period, I'd venture. Do you collect them too, then? My true interests lie in comparatively modern history. Oh, why? Well, I do love a fossil. It's important to remember that we all end up in the soil eventually. Quite. When do market days run in Bewley? Once or twice a month. The next one is tomorrow. How delightful. Unless your vice is cabbages, they'll be nought to interest a young lady. I don't mind a cabbage. Then you're in luck. Thanks for your time. Aye. Speak to you later. Okay, so we will have to give him some kind of fossil at some point, I reckon. Okay, before we head there, let's head over here. 
Aha. Let's look inside. A storeroom of some kind. It's rather empty. A storeroom. Mm hmm. I don't think anyone is home. No one home. Okay. There's a plaque. Royal Mail, Postmaster's Residence. This must be the local post office. Royal Mail, this must be the... Okay. Maybe there's a code. Or something, because she won't say anything? Hmm, that's really strange. Alright, uh, before we head over, just what are we supposed to do? Explore view, should take a look around the area and see what I can find out, Mr. Shoulder Hobbs Barrow. Okay, let's have a look at the church. Oh, there is a lot of Trusty stuff. Trusty Trowel, the Barrow Digger's best friend. Can we use that or take it? Excuse me, do you think anyone would mind if I borrowed this trowel? You help yourself, dear. Father Roach won't mind lending it. Just be sure to put it back when you're finished. Of course, thank you. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Alright, so we do have a trowel now. A trusty trowel, the barrow digger's best friend. This one has seen better days. Can we That's use it? I do not wish... Mm -hmm. Of course no. not. Okay, uh, was worth a try. In memory of William Ager. In memory of... Mm, William Ager, whoever that is. Let's have a look around here first. There is an entrance so we can enter the church, it seems. And over here, there is there is an exit. We don't want to go there yet, though. We don't want to enter either. We want to hmm, have a, a look. fine assortment of baked goods. A lovely treat for those who enjoy such things. Unfortunately, I don't think the cakes are free. Hmm. Okay, let's talk. The woman talk. has a kind face. That's something new here around. So let's talk Hello. to her. Good day. Would you like to buy one of these cakes, pet? Hmm. What kind of cakes do you have? I have some lovely bake well puddings. The sweetest marriage of almond and jam. I can tell you're not from around here, because if you were, you would know about my bake well puddings. They are quite famous. Alas, I'm not carrying any money with me. That's unfortunate, pet. I'm sorry. I I can't give them away for free. The money goes to the church, you see, and one cannot shirk one's duty to the church. I understand. Hmm. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? This is De Plancy. A pleasure to meet you, Mrs. De Plancy. Likewise, pet. Tell me about yourself, Mrs. De Plancy. About me? <laughs> what would you possibly want to know about me? I have been attending St. Edmund's Church my whole life. I always want to help where I can, so I sell my baked goods and all the proceeds go to its upkeep. This place means so much to me. Your cakes look delicious. I can assure you they are. You'll not find better in the entire county. What can you tell me about St. Edmund's Church? Isn't it the finest building? It's been standing here since the 12th century. The box pews in the nave are very fine and date back to the 17th century. The door is open if you'd like to worship. Thank you, Mrs. De Plancy. Do you know a local man called Leonard Shoulder? Yes, I know Leonard. What business do you have with him? It's a long story, but I'm trying to find where he lives. I'm afraid I don't know, dear. Father Roach has access to the parish register. He might be able to help you. Hmm. What can you tell me about Father Roach? He is a lovely man and an exemplary servant of the Lord. 
He's been the vicar of St. Edmunds for many years. Where can I find Father Roach? At this time of day, he'll be taking his exercise in Hearn Wood, to the west of the village. Thank you. I'll go find him. Be sure to listen out for his merry whistling. Such a jolly man. Where can I... At this time... Thank you, Miss... Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you know of Hobbs Barrow? Hobbs what? Hobbs Barrow, a local burial mound. The only place of burial I know about and care for is in this very churchyard. All right, so she will only tell us where Father Roach is. Thank Anything you for else? Time. Lord be with you. Okay, so we can enter the church, but I also want to check out if we can enter this door. It's locked. Mm-hmm. I thought so, and this I'm won't not help. Sure what that would achieve. Yeah, that doesn't achieve anything. So let's head inside the church. Oh goodness me, look at these box pews. I've never seen any as tall as that before. Most unusual architecture, even for the Normans. Mm-hmm. There's a necklace. Those have seen better days. The flowers have long since dried out. I don't want them. A memorial list of former vicars. They stretch back several hundred years. A memorial list of... They stretch... Mm-hmm. Is that a necklace? Let's take it. Hmm. Someone has left a necklace hanging here. A silver cross. Sterling by the look of it. Maybe I can reunite it with its owner. Aha. Uh -huh. So we will have to find someone who lost it. The pews are contained within compartments that can be locked. I've seen a similar design in other Norman churches around England, but this is a particularly impressive example. Mm-hmm. Locked. Locked as well. I think they all might be. They are still locked. Mm-hmm. Okay. Extraordinary craftsmanship. I can admire the craftsmanship from afar. Stained glass depictions of various biblical scenes. It's not my specialist area. I can admire the craftsmanship from afar. This must be where the local vicar sacrifices the newborns. <laughs> no time for such things. <laughs> ah, she's funny. Okay, so we got a necklace here, which is nice, but still not done, I suppose. So we enter. Oh, oh, okay. What happens if we go here? Aha, uh -huh, we will be here, which I wanted to do anyway. I don't think anyone is home. Nobody's home. What about here? Booker off! Ah. Oh. The unmistakable charm of old Cyril. Okay, so Cyril lives here. That's nice to know. But uh, if we go here... Aha! We found the father! Oh my goodness. Oh, what? Father Roach? What's going on? I'm very sorry. Oh, the shame. This malaise will not pass. Oh, the nausea. I need your help, young lady. Tell me what you need. Let the blood from my arm. What? Excuse me. Cut me. I beg you. Okay, we will have to cut him. But guys, I'm really sorry. I know this is kind of a bad spot to end the episode, but we have reached the end of the episode mark. So, if you want to know if we are going to cut open Father Roach, you'll have to tune in next time for the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. See you then.